cut my TV down where I can hear you. See it clearly. Okay, what was it like growing up in Alabama? What was it like growing up in Alabama? Yeah. Well, it really, it really was fun. It was, it, it was, it, it, it was a bunch of us. It, it wind up being twelve of us, and it's, and, and, and it's about eleven. I guess when I left home, it was eleven of us kids eating off the table at one time. Mm. Eleven. When I left home, no, 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 it was 10 because one wasn't born yet. James was, yeah, James was born when I, when I yeah, uh, not James, but uh, uh, Willie, Willie Frank. He was born when I left home, yeah. Because uh, uh, I, I grew up on a farm. Uh, we, uh, I, I, I started hunting at about 12 years old. Started hunting, with my daddy let me have his gun. I, Cause I, I was a pretty smart kid coming up, you know. I, I was pretty good, so he let me have his gun to go hunting at about 12 or 13 years old, right now, something about that. And uh, I, I started, I see, I think about 13 when I was 13 years old. I started flying a mule, and now you know what a mule is. Yeah. Okay. Now he, his two ply stock, all that I fly, I fly the mule. Me and my daddy, we did we did farming, raising cotton, corn, peas, potatoes, uh, watermelons, uh, peanuts. We we had it all, and uh, we would take the wagon and take the and we 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 pick cotton. I think it took about twelve to thirteen hundred pounds to make a bale. Have you ever seen a bale of cotton? I don't think I have either. On a, you need to look at. You need to look sometime on this. Uh, mm-hmm. On Google or something. Yeah, you you could Google it. Cotton yeah. bales of cotton. You could Google it, and it's it's it's, it's, it's this big old bale, and they they, they, they tie it with, with 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 ties around it, and then we we we, we take and load it on the wagon, dump it on the wagon cat, and cat to the gin, and then we take a. They had a thing with air that would suck it up, suck this cotton up in it, and they carry it in put it in a big old box and then they squeeze it together. Hmm. Make a bale out of it and then they take ties and go around it. If you Google they'll show you they'll show you how it's done. And uh, hmm. uh and, and as I grew up I decided after I got up about seventeen years old, eighteen, I wanted to do something else besides farm. And uh after I got nineteen I I did. I left home. I think that's the next question, part of it. Yeah. What's your next? Tell me the next question. Yes. What was your first job? Well, when I left home in nineteen, I did the same thing I did at home. I picked cotton. Hmm. But but before I left home, I did saw milling, and, and, and you had to Google saw milling too, because I know you don't know what that is. And we did. The, have you seen these? Have you seen these trucks that go down the road with these long old logs on them? Long old logs. Yeah. Well, that's they taking that to the paper mill to make paper. Oh, okay. But see, mm-hmm. we used to take and cut it, and we used to cut it in lengths about six foot long and stack it on a truck and haul it. We didn't take it long because we didn't have them long trucks. We we didn't have no way of loading. It. We didn't have them that, that thing to pick them logs up, so we had to load it by hand. Mm. And uh, I did that for a while. And uh, after I got 21, I left Alabama. And I went to Georgia. I stayed in Georgia for about three years. Hmm. My first job, I was a I was a custodian. That, that, that was my first job away from home. And when after I left the sawmills and pet food and stuff like that, I went to Atlanta. I was a custodian. My, 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 my basic job was keeping this place clean, you know, just like them, like the people do at your school, go around and clean your school and stuff. I had a job doing that, and uh, I did that for about three years, two and a half, three years, and I got tired. I didn't get tired of it. I just, I was on the move. I was, I, was, I just turned 21 years old. When I left home, when I left left Alabama, I was 21. 
And then when I got to, went to Atlanta, I stayed in Atlanta until I was about 23. And I stayed there when I left at 23. Let's see, I left Atlanta in March. I was 23 years old, and I turned 24 in April here in Chattanooga. And I was on my way to New York, but I never did make it to New York. I had a sister in New York. Now, I had a little money saved. I always saved me some money. Now, I always saved me two, three little dollars. So when I left Atlanta, I went to the bank and drove my money out, put it in my pocket, and come to Atlanta and, and did what most guys do, hip-hop party, you know, party and around. But I'm, 20, I'm, I'm 23 years old now. I'm, I spent my little money, I had to go to work. So I, 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 I started making mud, delay bricks and blocks and stuff like that. I did that from March up to about December, and then that's, that's when I went to work at McKee. At a bakery, and I started 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 over there. And the first job I had was truck washing. Hmm. And my second job I had was at, at the bakery was uh, was uh, dumping the cakes. And when the cakes come out of the oven, and them big old they come out of the oven in pans like that, about that long, about that wide, and we had to dump it. We had to, we had to dump it on, uh, take it out and dump it on the belt. And then run it back down there where they put the cream and all that stuff in it. But I, I worked in the back where I, when, it, when it come out of the oven, I dump it. And I did that for a while. Then uh, I started mixing. Started making the dough. Started making the dough for the cakes. You know, you know it's like your mama make, make dough to, to go in the oven to bake the cake. I did that. But I had a great big old mixer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had a mixer of... Oh man, it was, I don't know how big it was, it was, it was a real big old mixer. And if, if you, you, you get, you can Google them, uh, the bakery mixers, and then it'll show you, that you push a button, and it's all electrified, you push a button, and turn it down, dump it in them trolls, and all that stuff. But anyway, I did that for a while. Uh, then, let's see, what else did I do? I did that. Up until, let's see, I, I, I went in in 65. Mm. I went to work there in 64. 66, I started dumping cakes. 67, I started mixing. 69, I went into management. And management mean that you, I was a boss. I was a boss. I, I told people what to do. I didn't do no more. Mixing, no more truck washing. <laughs> I had my own office. Had a computer, but I didn't know how to run it. <laughs> but I had, uh, I had, uh, I had, uh, um, I had people that worked for me that I was supervisor over, and some of them was college students, mm. and uh, they knew all about computers and stuff, and I. And what I did, you you, you, you you ever heard the word designate? Explain that term when I got Des Designate? Or that, delegate. Or delegate. Whatever. That's yeah. what I'm looking you, for, delegate. Yeah. I delegated it. I turned it over to somebody else. Hey, you do this, and you do that, and you do that, and you do this. So I, I, I had it made there for a moment. I did, uh, I was in management for, let's see, 69 to 1998. That's when I re that's when I retired. I was in management for 33 years. No, no, 27 years. Mm. 27 years. I had my own office. All that good stuff. Just the old, what they call an old flyboy. <laughs> come out of the country. Well, read your next question. Mm. Where did you go to school in Alabama? I went to a uh, little school called, Rand uh, it, was, it was in Randolph County. I went, uh, I dropped out of school in the seventh grade. I dropped out of school in the seventh grade. And uh, I went to Udawa to get my GED. Oh, okay. I didn't even know that. But I never, did, I, I never did get it though. I, I went, I went to Udawal, 
and uh, to get Majid, I went, I went, I went long enough to get it, but, but I, I can't remember. For some reason or another, I never did go take the test. But anyway, I went to, uh, I went to Chattanooga State. The company sent me to Chattanooga State to take some uh, some kind of classes. Yeah, something for work. Or... Yeah, work, work, work. Uh, then I went to UTC for a couple of classes. Hmm. Then my last class that I took was in Knoxville at the at the what's the name of that school up in Knoxville? UT. UT. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I went to, hmm. that, was the, that was the last class I took was up there. Hmm. And, but I went to, now they sent me on seminars and stuff like that around Atlanta, Chicago, uh, Virginia. They, 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 we 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 had several places we were supposed to go, like Vegas and and uh, and New Orleans, but they wouldn't. During that time, they wouldn't send us. They said that was sin sick, sin sin sick places, you know. But I mean, they, they sent them down there. I mean, they sent them down there, but they, they because they got all these younger people done come in, you know, family members, you know, that done took over. Right. So things are totally different over there now. So, but they was good to me. They was good to me. I mean, I, I, I had it made. I mean, I mean, I wish I could just. I wish I could. Bring it to you to like this, 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 and this, but sometimes now I can't remember like I used to. I used to remember from the day from the time I went to work down to the time I retired. But, oh uh, no, you you have a lot of information more than I thought. I had uh, I had I had good. Uh, let's see. Now my so I had several jobs like uh, in in management. I, I had uh, I had to train I, I did I trained people on different jobs and, uh, and the, the, the main thing I would do if you come in there to do a job I made you do it hands on I would I would I, 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 I first would take you hands on myself. And then once you learn a little bit, I turn you over to some. I had somebody else to turn you over to, and you work with them until you you got to know everything to be done before we turn you loose out there by yourself. Because because a lot of people they would get mad at me, say that you know I I thought they was crazy, uh, didn't have sense enough to do it because I put somebody with them too long, you know. And I, mm. and I said a lot of times. I turn them loose too quick and they mess up. So I said I'd rather put somebody with you and make you look crazy than to have somebody have you to blow up or mess up something. A lot of guys would go in there and the next thing you know they put water on on a switch box. And you know what water do to a switch box? I mean water and water and leg twisted don't work. <laughs> That's the hard part about management. Yep, yep. Learning how to manage. Yep. That's the, that's, that's the first thing you do when you get into management. You got to learn to, uh, what's that word? Delegate. De delegate. Delegate. That's the number. That's what you got to do. And, and it's, just, it's just like being a father, a mother. Mm -hmm. You got to train your kids. And, and, and if, you don't, if you don't train them right, then they're going to turn out to be something that you don't want. And, 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 and further on down the road, you're going to say, well, my, my, my daddy, didn't, he didn't tell me that. He didn't, I don't know why he didn't tell me that. He probably told you, he just didn't listen. Okay, we got another question. That's... Yeah, what, what's the next question? It says, did you ever see Dr. Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. speak? Uh, let me see. In person, no. But uh, in person, no. I never see him in person. Now, that 
that's I, I, that's some things when I was young and, and he was young. Uh, I, I, I don't want to get off into that too much because I I had uh, different. I, 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 I had I had different ideas when we we'll see when when they had the freedom riders and all that stuff the freedom riders mm -hmm. I was 15 years old. Okay, I was wondering how old you were. So I had uh, I wanted to I wanted to do what you see these people doing now. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get out there and. Throw rocks and throw fireballs and all that good stuff, but he wasn't that, that. He wasn't that was not him. He wanted you to be. What they call it a peaceful. Peaceful. Yeah. But see, I was 15 years old. I want to throw rocks, fireballs, and stuff like that. But now, I, I, I told somebody out there, I said I, I had to be a hypocrite, cause now. I want to be like he was then, mm -hmm. you know, don't be throwing no rocks, don't be throwing no fireballs and stuff like that, but back when I was 15 years old, hey, that that was my idea, I said, that, uh, uh, somebody wanted me to join the, uh, uh, I forget what they call it now, anyway. Yeah, the Black Panthers or something no, like that?